With contact scripting, instruments can have custom control panels called performance views. This allows you to control instrument settings without switching into edit mode and allows you to create a custom user interface. In this video tutorial, I'll show you how to create a performance view that lets you control group modulation parameters. And never miss a tutorial by subscribing to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash ADSR Toots. So this little video series that I've been doing, we're going to continue on with um, showing you how to access all of the, the controls in an instrument. And today we're going to look at how do you um, access a modulation uh, control in Performance View. Okay, so we start off by making a new instrument. And um, this is just like um, everything else that we've done um, over the last couple of days. So first we're going to everything starts with on and in as you know and on then we're going to uh, make the perfume set the script title you're gonna clear the messages All right, everything is kosher. Okay, so we're gonna do something a little bit different today. Um, um, so far, we haven't really used any variables um, aside from the, the knob itself. Uh, so today we're gonna declare some, some placeholders, some variables uh, for, for some indexes. Um, because when you talk about accessing the modulation um, parameters, you know, you, you need to specify not only the group that you're referring to, but also the index of the modulation and I'll show you that just a little bit later but first let's make our variable to hold um, our group and the reason why I'm going to do this today is um, what instead of just using zero for the group because we're obviously obviously going to use the first group um, I would have to go through all the lines of code to replace the zero if I wanted to talk talk about group number one um, or group number two. So what I can do here is instead of um, hard coding the zero um, all over the place in the code, I can just um, make a variable and set it here. And if I want to change this group, I can just come here and change it like that. Um, also, because I set a variable here, this allows me to change the group um, in in the in the performance view. Just imagine if I had a menu. Um, or a button that, set, that lets me select the group. So I can hit button one for group one, button two for group two. What that will do is potentially change this value to you know zero, one, two, and so on. All right, so we have the group index. Now I'm going to declare an index for, or a, a variable for the, um, the index of the envelope, okay? I'm just going to call the envelope IDX to, you know, and IDX is shorthand for index. So I'm going to call this ENV IDX. I'm sorry. I already declared it. It's, I'm going to set it to um, the, the AHDSR volume. So in order to do this, um, I need to run a command called find mod. Okay. And pay attention to this because this is real important so every time you make a new instrument of course there is a AHD um, SR modulator um, built in and if you if you write as long as you have the script window open and you have the editor open you know which means you hit the edit button you can actually see the name of this and actually rename it so the name of it is ENV underscore AHDSR underscore volume. I actually can hit that and rename it to something else. I can just call it ENV um, volume for shorthand just to make it easier in code. So now this has an internal name of ENV uh, underscore volume. Okay. So now what I'm when, when I come back up to my code, what I want to do is I want to use a find mod command. I'm missing an equal sign. So I'm going to use a find mod command. And the parameters of the find mod command is 
the first so let me explain what it does first the it it basically returns the index of any internal modulator or external modulation slot and so these are the modulation slots okay so it returns the index so um you can't just randomly put the index even though i'm assuming that this is, is going to be zero um, there's an internal index that you need to grab and to do that you use find mod so the parameters you pass to it is, is the group so the first thing you pass in is the group you're, you're referring to so we are um, using a, a variable for group index and then um, the actual name of the the mod uh, the modulator or the, or the modulation slot and since we renamed it um, it is env volume okay so those are the parameters that you pass um, into find find name or find find mod I'm sorry so the group index and then the modulation name all right so now that will hold our index of envelope volume all right so next we declare our knob so now I'm gonna call this knob attack going to pass it all the usual suspects and um, I've actually noticed a bug um, you know several times um, while just testing the script out for some odd reason when you do this it actually deletes the modulation um, here and you have to go back and re-add it re-add it back so um, I don't know what is causing it to disappear or get deleted but it does get deleted and I have to come back and do this So if you if you went back and looked at the rewind, rewind the video, you'll see it disappear. So there's no rhyme or reason. I haven't I haven't clicked apply on the on the as you can see I haven't clicked apply on the code yet. It just randomly disappeared. Okay, so native instruments, that's a bug. Alright, so we declare the knob. And then I'm gonna move the knob. I'm going to move it to the first row. <clears throat> I'm going to copy the knob. Um, set the label of the knob. And <laughs> if you just saw that, it just disappeared again. All right, it literally just disappeared again. And as you can see, there's no modulations. So that is a weird uh, bug. But we'll, I'll add it back before we save this. Okay, so I'm setting the text. I'm going to call it attack. Um, on attack the unit um, is uh, milliseconds so I'm going to set the knob UI or the knob unit the knob unit to knob knob unit milliseconds and just out of habit I am going to set the knob default value although I don't know what it is you know, we can just uh, freestyle it. All right, now that's many zeros. Yeah, too many zeros. Here we go, 500,000. Okay. Okay, so one. So now we need to get the actual value of the uh, of the attack of the attack knob so we do this by querying the engine so I'm going to take the knob I'm going to set it to the uh, to the engine parameter so of course we use get engine parameter and then what I'm going to pat what I, the, the actual parameter that I want to use today is engine par attack and this is basically for the attack of the internal AHDSR um, modulator. Okay, then I am going to pass in the group index. So of course you you, you pass in the name of the parameter, the group, and then the um, the the uh, index 
um, of the uh, of the modulator and then also whether or not you're in the instrument group or other okay so I'm gonna use um, the group index IDX and also the envelope index IDX and then negative one all right so now knob attack has the value of um, the attack knob all right so now I'm going to update the label I'm going to use the get engine parameter display I'm going to, to say I want engine parameter attack once again I'm going to pass in the group index the envelope index and negative one I'm going to set it to be persistent Right, so there we have our knob and before I go any further I'm going to add that back and just to make sure we have it attack us there okay okay so now I'm going to do my on UI control Okay, so the first thing we do is we set the engine parameter. Okay, and a quick way is to just copy this, the get engine parameter. So I'm going to just change this to set. So set engine parameter, engine parameter attack, group index, envelope index, negative one. And then I'm going to set the knob label. Once again, I can just copy this. And voila, I have set the engine and the label when I turn the knob. So let's hit apply and make sure that we don't have any typos or, or um, incorrect values. And let's see what we have here. And we do have a typo, it's supposed to be declare declare UI knob what's wrong here variable expected and declare UI knob what's wrong with this declare UI knob oh I'm sorry no parentheses when you use declare okay sorry for all of the bugs um type in too fast today Okay, well this is good so you guys can kind of see um, little simple mistakes that people make when you're scripting. So what's wrong with this? Set engine parameter, engine par attack. Oh, we're missing the knob. Duh. There we go. All right. So now we have an attack knob. If you look at attack, set to 1.0. And if I turn this to 4.6, you'll see that it's 1 to 4.6. All right, so let's close our um, script editor, exit edit mode, and voila. Now we have a an attack knob that controls um, an AHDSR modulation. So today we learned how to access the controls for modulators and group slots, but we can also access their targets. This can be accomplished by using the find target command. So be sure to tune into our next video tutorial where I'll show you just that. And don't forget to check out our website at www.contacttutorials.com for more contact tutorials and sounds. ADSR contact tutorials supercharge your contact skills. 
This is DJ Nice signing off until next time. Now go make some music.